Hello. Today we'll talk about how to create issues by REST API. As a Jira admin, this is also a task. There are many developer, many testers. They want to create good. They want to create issues by a REST API call. There are many ways. One of the way is direct cut creation. Second way is CSP. Okay, the third way by REST API. So first of all, what is REST API? So REST API is nothing but uh, integration between two tools. Like uh, I, I don't want to come to the Jira, but from the Python or from the my one of my uh, uh, URL or my website from there, I want to create a ticket in my Jira. So how we can do that one? How we can create a Jira issues? So today I'm going to talk on a sim uh, simple one. Okay, uh, I will show. If you have any issues, uh, please let me know. Okay, in the comment section. First, I will show. I'm using uh, this Python and Python code. It is so. Once you are running the code, you can see issue created and here issue link. So just go and check. This this is an example issue created by Jira uh, REST API. So how these are the values? How uh, it's creating etc. We are going to talk about. Okay, so come here. So this is my uh, code so I am uh, importing request after that I am providing URL you can provide your URL uh, this is the username and password okay if you want to use the tokenization one you can do it it's a simple one uh, in the next uh, or in future we will talk uh, more uh, more upgraded ones versions about it uh, and uh, more difficult things we will talk about okay so here nothing but it's just asking for issue data what is the fields are available and what is the project so this is where it's going to create a ticker under jt project whatever value you will provide over here it will do it this is the summary this is the description this is the issue type which is what is the issue type it's a task if you want to create a dynamic one what is the meaning of the dynamic you can ask for the project key you can ask for the summary you can ask for the description field whatever you want totally up to you okay you can design a code you can whatever you want you can do it it's totally up to you here it's just providing all the details and here it's creating the ticket it's a posting a request for creating the issues okay after that it's checking the response what is getting the response is it 201 or it's not if it's a 201 so here uh, passing the issue key and here it's uh, printing issue created you can see this line after that uh, I'm creating a URL because I don't want to go and check which issue got created which is no, it's not one so it's a simple URL and if it's not uh, property doing uh, properly then it will uh, give the error so how we can check it the error okay uh, let's try mm, 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 another one okay uh, not this one uh, okay uh, let's try another project JTSR let's see if it's creating or not JTSR okay, error it's giving error how you can check the error you need to go to responses okay I'm using Python and PyCharm Python is my IDE it's totally up to whatever you are uh, using it so here you can give uh, check the summary okay it's not appropriate skin etc whatever error uh, uh, it will provide to you okay so you can check it out this kind of things so right now you can see if I'm providing only JT okay there are many things first of all uh, you need to provide the correct URL you need to provide the correct username you need to provide the correct uh, password and uh, the key should be there means project should be available and user should be having the assign uh, uh, sorry create a issue permission in that project apart from that one this issue type should be available if it's issue type is not available it will not work apart from this if you are thinking like there is many uh, 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 required field but if you are not passing it over here from here then it will not create so it will keep the error only so once you will run it uh, now everything is fine it should create the ticket so if I'm going I, I can check it you are thinking like is it correct or not let's uh, create another one uh, a test issue uh, let's give the live okay or run 
once you will check test is live so it's working fine thank you for watching please do like subscribe and share the video and let me know if you have any question thank you for watching